Uh, he's writing, Matt Ford is writing, at least two states with Republican leaders, Alabama and Ohio, are now threatening to remove President Joe Biden from the November ballot. This is wacky. Now, this is not something that is, the, this is not the consequence of something that just recently happened. And I'll fill you in on this. The, the, here's, the, here's the problem. The uh, Democratic National Convention is August 19th. It starts August 19th. It runs through the 22nd. But Ohio requires the, both political parties, and, and the Republican Party can, you know, is going to be in July. Ohio re requires both parties to submit their, their certified candidate by August 7th. And Joe Biden will not be legally that certified candidate until August 7th. And that's Ohio. Uh, the same thing is happening in Alabama. Uh, Alabama Secretary of State Wes Moore sent a letter to Democrats warning that Biden could be ineligible for that state's ballot based on a similar deadline. He, said, he writes, if this office has not received a valid certificate of nomination from the Democratic Party following its convention by the statutory deadline, I will be unable to certify the names of the Democratic Party candidates for president and vice president for ballot preparation for the 2024 general election. That's pretty wild. Now, in Alabama, it kind of doesn't matter, except that, you know, it's, it just adds to the vote total. In Ohio, Ohio could easily be a swing state this year. I mean, look at all the people who just showed up to legalize abortion in Ohio. It's a, it's a bad sign for the Ohio Republicans. Now, these dates have been around for a while, and the, and the Democratic and Republican parties having their conventions after these dates have happened before. Uh, in 2012, for example, Ohio was supposed to certify the presidential candidates by August 8th, but the Republican Party didn't have their convention until August 27th. And the D Democrats, uh, the Democratic Party, the DNC, uh, was September 4th. But both Barack Obama and Mitt Romney, even though both of them missed that deadline, were on the Ohio ballot. Why? Uh, because both parties submitted a, a, a letter that said, we expect these people to be our candidates. And Ohio said, okay, cool, we'll put you on the ballot. Same thing with Alabama. In the 2020 election cycle, the two major parties were required to certify their presidential candidates by August 20th of 2020. And uh, Democrats certified the Biden-Harris ticket on, on the day of the deadline which was also the last day of the Democratic Party. But uh, Republicans, their convention didn't even start until August 24th. Keep in mind, in, in Alabama, August 20th was the deadline in 2020. But hey, they simply notified the state in advance that uh, uh, tr you know Trump was gonna be the probable nominee and they put him on the ballot. So, uh, in fact, uh, state records show that the Alabama Republican Party didn't formally, formally certify the Trump-Pence ticket until August 27th, which was a full, you know, and, and, uh, and the RNC itself did not certify that Trump and Pence were the party's nominees until August 30th, a full 10 days after the Alabama deadline. So, you know, bottom line, these, these two states, Ohio and Alabama, are doing this essentially out of spite. You know, they're doing this to mess with the election. And uh, rescheduling the Democratic convention would be no easy feat, he, uh, uh, Matt Ford notes. Uh, the major networks, he writes, traditionally reserve some airtime for each party each night. That's all planned out in advance. If the Democrats move the convention earlier in the month to meet Alabama's August 15 deadline, they'd have to compete with the Summer Olympics, which take place between July 28th and August 11th. And uh, the Republican convention is already uh, scheduled for a week before that. The Republicans, you know, they're, they're early enough. It's almost like the Republicans were planning this. Like Ohio and Alabama got together with the RNC and said, uh, hey, RNC, have your, have your uh, nominating convention before August, you know, 7th. And they're doing that. They're doing it in July. Uh, because the Democrats are going to have it after August 7th, and then we can keep Joe Biden off the ticket in Ohio and Alabama. How is this going to get resolved? I don't know. I mean, this is, this is uh, bizarre stuff. But it looks like, I mean, both states now, the secretaries of state of both Ohio and Alabama have said that Biden will not be on the ticket unless the Democratic Party reschedules their convention. And the Democrats have, you know, not shown any indication that they plan to, or that they even can reschedule their convention.
I mean, you know, conventions are planned years in advance. This takes a lot of time. So how is this going to play out? I don't know. But I would keep an eye on it.